What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. So in today's video I have very great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak for 13.5.1, 13.6, 13.6.1 and even iOS 14. We have more news from the ABC research. This video is brought to you by Anyfix, a program by iMobi, which allows you to repair various system errors and of course to exit and enter recovery mode, fix iTunes errors and even of course reset the device. You can check it out in the link below. It's actually very good if you do have iTunes error or of course if your iOS is acting up. Check it out below. So you probably remember that a couple of days ago I made this video in here in which I announced the fact that a kernel exploit has been achieved and that SSH has been achieved on iPhone 11 and iPhone XS and stuff like that and of course even lower so these included the A13 and A12 as well which are currently the latest devices. In that video I talked about the ABC research which seems to be a security company they basically find vulnerabilities that we don't know too much about and this is the first time we see anything from them in terms of iOS. But anyways they posted this quote well that was easy iOS 13.6.1 jailbreak iPhone SE 2020. Now for those of you who are not aware iPhone SE 2020 the spin-off of the iPhone SE is basically having the A13 chip. It's basically an iPhone 11 with a different case. So the SOC or the system on a chip is basically A13. So they do prove in here the fact that they do have SSH access and of course they also posted this quote here we go iOS 14 exploit and zero day. It shows in here of course an exploit running and of course getting the read and write primitives but it doesn't mentioned TFP0 which is important later. Now recently they posted this which was actually yesterday they posted a video which says quote that was not easy but we did it iOS 14 exploit and zero day. Now the video itself is actually quite good it shows their application let me actually make this bigger it's a little bit blurred due to Twitter's compression but it shows their application running and of course getting the kernel privileges and doing whatever they want in there. They also get SSH at some point and they prove the fact that they are able to of course run it on iOS 14 and this is important because this means that they do have a very interesting exploit in there. Dropbeard seems to be working fine and they do seem to be placing jailbreak binaries which are of course necessary when you do a jailbreak it's the binary bag. I also have that for my jailbreak Blizzard and of course Uncover has it. So they managed to jailbreak iOS 14. Now it may not run tweaks for now but at this point that's actually easy. Anyways the hard part of getting the kernel privileges has actually been achieved. So who are these guys? Well ABC Research, they do have a website in here, abcresearch.cz, and what they do is to disassemble things. Apparently that's all they do. They seem to be a company focused on reverse engineering and finding bugs and stuff like that. Now, I was pretty skeptical initially about this since I never heard of them before. I still don't know who they are or what they really do, but they are indeed credited by Apple in their security content in here. Now, this was back on July 15, but still pretty close, and if you search for them, they do actually have in here bugs. They uh, actually discovered one by by themselves it says a malicious application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges which is a pretty serious entry in here and there is another one that they did which is in the Intel graphics driver another malicious application may be able to execute arbitrary code with system privileges this time is them in here working with the trend micro zero day initiative so they do seem to be legitimate and they do seem to have a proper bug they even posted a couple of panic logs in here which confirm the fact that they do have a bug and this panic log was actually generated on iOS 14 so the bug definitely works on iOS 14. So for the moment I have no idea whether or not they are going to release this bug but we do know that this can be indeed used for a jailbreak. However as I said there is no mention of TFP0 but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Google Project Zero posted very recently a new method of basically exploiting the uh, iOS devices which doesn't get TFP0. It's basically a shift from the normal procedure and from the normal exploitation flow but it's not necessarily bad. So they did actually document a different way and once you get the kernel read and write primitives which of course they do in here you are basically able to get TFP0 if you really need it so that's not necessarily a problem since you probably do need TFP0 for a jailbreak but that's likely easily obtainable with the exploit they have it's not an easy thing but it should be doable so what you should do well I would definitely advise you not to update further if you are running 13.6.1 which is currently the only one signed definitely stay here 13.7 however is on the horizon and it's it's probably going to be released soon but stay on 13.6.1 or of course if you're on lower 13.6 or 13.5.1 definitely stay there. This applies for all devices including the A12 and A13. So yeah I will keep you updated this is pretty good news thank you for watching I am Geo Snow till the next time subscribe to stay updated tell me in the comment section down below what device and what iOS version you're running and peace out.